All right, so now I think it's gonna give me free time. Yeah, it looks like it. It is now possible to go into battle with the same appearances in the monastery. Oh, what? You can set this in the journal by selecting unit appearance. Oh, cool. <laughs> hey. New updates, man. You can now change the protagonist's outfit to the dancer ensemble. What? A quest has been added from chapter 5 of the main story on. You will find the quest via the bulletin board. In order to accept it, you must have the ability to invite people to tea parties. What is it? What are they talking the about? <laughs> of the tea party. Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule. Uh, I think we already so know all this. So you plan what you intend to do each month and when. Tea party? I'm so confused. Okay, I guess we'll see about that when we see. But for now, we're just gonna explore a little bit. I think there were some quests that we can do, so I'll probably just knock those out real quick. And again, I... I really would like to talk to all the NPCs again, but from what I remember, the ones in the beginning don't actually say too, too much anyways. Uh, so I'll do it starting next time. I'll actually talk to the NPCs and whatnot. But basically, everybody this time just says, oh, can't wait for the mock battle. Da -da 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 -da. As far as I remember. Thought I heard a good voice, but I must have been imagining things. So I can, like, I can change my guy's appearance, I guess. <laughs> What's this dancer ensemble? <laughs> this is so random. Why do I have this? <laughs> it's not like Bylas is a dancer. So options, I can either do war or dancer ensemble. I think I'll stick to war, thank you. And I guess I can... Uh, the unit's appearance in battle will match the appearance of the current class. The unit's appearance in battle will match their appearance in the monastery. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought it was. So I can, I can like, set... I can set my appearance to be just what they look like normally, then, I guess. Because when you change your class, it does change your appearance in battle, like it says. But in the monastery, you still look the same. So I guess I can set it to just always be their monastery appearance. Huh. That's cool. I like it. These are set the up. students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Commoner students also reside on the first floor while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. Yeah, you hear that, Byleth? No S supports! Wait, weren't there, though? <laughs> That's kind of weird, actually. Yeah, oh, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Teacher, no! Uh, Dimitri. Here, there will be a mock battle soon. We must not neglect our training. It'll be fine. Trust that you will carefully study the strengths and weaknesses of each of your students, that you may provide effective guidance. Regardless of the results, this battle will be a great learning experience. Even so, what is the point of competition if the aim isn't to win? I like As your moxie, your man. time at the monastery. Please, allow me to show you the ropes. Uh, no thanks. I think I remember most of that. Uh, to do though. His Highness has said that he trusts you, and I have no cause for doubt. But if you mistreat him in any way, I will take action. No thanks, man. This guy could bench press a truck. I have a request. Uh, let's see. There's a dish I would like to make, but I need more of a certain vegetable to do so. I was planning to grow it from seeds in the greenhouse, but if you'd like to help. Grow plants in the greenhouse. Take to do seeds and ask the greenhouse keeper how to grow and harvest crops. All right, let's do it. Let's get to do the greatest garden in all the lands. That's right. I can't believe he's a he's like a he's like an arts and crafts guy, which is hilarious considering his appearance. Seriously, he's like, don't harm Dimitri, and I'm like, okay, man, <laughs> whatever you say. I'm not trying to square up with him. Never in a million years. What the Bernie! Um, I'll talk to Bernie. Because uh, she's funny. <laughs> like, seriously, it's not exactly the most original idea, but it's, if it's not the funniest thing I've ever seen, then I don't know what it is, man. <laughs> I don't like to come out unless I really have to. Hope you're okay with that, Professor. No, Bernadetta, you will join my class. Eventually. I don't remember what she needs. Wasn't it like... No, I don't. I don't even remember. <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend to. 
the Marianne. Maybe I'll get Marianne. Isn't she Golden Deer? Not not for like gameplay reasons, but she just really seems like she needs a friend, <laughs> honestly. Goddess, I pray to thee. Please protect us. <sighs> like this girl is so depressing. <laughs> I just feel like Yeah, let's get Marianne, I think, for the Golden Deer. I don't know how long that's gonna take really, but I'm also gonna talk to Ash because I feel Did bad for him. <laughs> too. The greenhouse here is really incredible. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. Uh, you seem well informed. My adoptive father is the real expert. No. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. Oh man, now I'm just sad. <laughs> you should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. Well, <laughs> ah, poor kid, man. By gardening, by gardening, you can harvest all kinds of crops. Flowers, for instance, make great gifts. Some people might even decorate their rooms with the flowers you give them. Use the plant command. Okay, I remember that. Yeah, so now we can spread the new seeds. Let's do it. You're for the seeds to the greenhouse keeper. Check back when you next explore the monastery on a free day. All right, and this gives you professor points, I think, right? So you should probably do this all the time, basically. Infused with magic. I'm still not sure exactly what we're doing. Like, that seems like a very situational spell. But maybe a very good spell, too. Nobody would ever go hungry in the real world if we could just cast a spell to enchant our crops or whatever we're doing here. So we get some rewards for that. Cool, cool. And that should keep us going on gardening for a while, I think. Lindhart? Don't think I forgot about you and your lazy ways. To the dining hall. I like these little sweeping cinematics too. Yes. Alright, we got Felix. It's you. I'm busy. Do you want something? Man, I said I wasn't gonna talk to everybody. <laughs> it's just so hard not to, man. I was hoping to spar with you. Right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to beating you. Seriously, this is one of those games where I can spend hundreds of hours playing it, I have no doubt. I have no doubt whatsoever. Uh Okay, don't talk to everybody, Delta. Come on. Flane. Hello there, Professor. Well, I call you that, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself. I wonder if you can get Flane. That's a shame. If opportunity arise, I would love to become a student huh. and begin my studies in earnest. Well, I mean, I guess we got supports with her, so maybe you can get her. I I don't know. I She seems like she'd be like a white mage type character, though, maybe. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Can't see what else she'd be, really. Actually, Deltra, I'm the greatest armor knight in all the land. <laughs> That'd be great. I mean, technically, you could do it, right? That'd be kind of interesting. <laughs> That's one thing about the everybody could do everything system that could get really wild really fast, you know? Just make people random classes that clearly they shouldn't be. Uh, yeah, let's just do this real quick. Flames of bait. Let's do it. All right. Ah, so relaxing. Oh, here we go. We got a big one, boys. Actually, it's a small one. <laughs> Excellent. Good. Excellent. Oh, I screwed up. How embarrassing. So we got that. 10.8. Not bad. I'm actually just going to... Oh, I don't have more bait. Oh, right. Flame gives you bait. That's what the reward was. Of course. You have helped me so much. So we got her this special fish that somehow has something to do with Seth Leanne. The traditional ceremonious fish. And... Nice. So if she had all those fish, what did she need us for? Yeah, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and use this right now real quick. Oh, we got a big one! That one is red. Oh yeah, giant fish. Good! My ass! Come on. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, what? Oh, I'm so trash at this. We barely made that. <laughs> one more goof and I would have been done. The queen loach, eh? And the golden one. Man, we're just getting all kinds of rare ones today. Man, another one. Another one. Man, this luck is insane. Is it random or what? Well, we take those. <laughs> one star bait in my ass. That's the best bait in the game. Oh, I missed. Who did I miss? 
There's one more quest I missed. Professor? Hey, Professor. If you got spare time, wanna join me for a trip into town? We could try to pick up beautiful girls. Or not. I'm kidding. Don't look at me like that. Don't you bullshit me, man. You were dead serious. Uh, Professor, view quest? Let's do I've it. I've got a small favor to ask. If I have to eat in that filthy dining hall, I prefer to invite a cute girl to dine with me. Before, beforehand, I'll find out her favorite food so I can order them. She's happy, I'm happy. I haven't missed a move. Pretty great, huh? <laughs> this guy! Alright, try sharing a meal with others in the dining hall. You can even treat someone to their favorite meal. Talk to the dining staff for details. Let's do it. And this... I feel like I'm going to be doing this a lot. Because <laughs> doesn't it... Doesn't it fill your motivation? Which is important for... For the tutoring, right? Did he say to do the special, or does it matter? Honestly, if I'm gonna... Bernadetta, obviously, because you guys told me that... Uh, by building up your support levels, you can get characters more easily. And... I don't really have to worry about... A motivation right this second, since everybody still has some, you know? So I will. I think I'll do Bernadetta and Marianne. I don't think Sylvain said he had to be invited. He just wanted me to do this in general. And since this builds up support points by a lot, I think, when you do the special, uh, this should help me get these girls pretty favorite. fast, I think. You've got great taste. I like this dish. It was my father's favorite. Hmm. Maybe she had a strong relationship with her father or something. She actually seemed happy for once, almost. Hey, more activity points. Cool. And more monthly funds for activities. Amazing! Yeah, and I think we're pretty nice. much done here for I now. I count on you. So I'll take these rewards. Get that renown, which I'm still not entirely sure what that's supposed to do. I haven't seen any benefit to that yet. Man, all this time and they still didn't add a feature to pet the damn dog. All these updates and not one of them did they think maybe we should let you pet the animals. Crazy. I kind of forgot how big this place was to be honest. Pretty easy to get lost even though we don't have access to really anything yet. I remember that you can sometimes find random items though so I want to look around for those real quick. And then we will go on ahead. Yeah, like here. Smithing stone. Still don't know when we get to forge stuff. I assume you must be able to, so, because, like, what else would those be for? You know? Hedwig! <laughs> Come back! Can't owls drop, like, owl feathers? Aren't they pretty good? For, like, gifts, I think? I don't know, it's been a minute. What? I care nothing of friendship. If you have no business here, leave. Man, Yuritsa! What's your deal? I, I know I said I wasn't gonna talk to anybody, but it's really just that hard. I'm sorry, the world is too immersive. I can't, I can't help it. Besides, I'm looking for one NPC in particular. <laughs> I can't find him. Where is he? Here he is, the homie, the gatekeeper. Sir, nothing to report. By the by, have you ever regretted a decision and wished you could go back and undo it? I don't know what it is about this guy, but I just think it's so funny that the guy who played Alm in the previous game is now this random NPC. It's, it's just so amusing the way. Ah, I bit my tongue. To turn back the old clock, huh? But I suppose a bad decision isn't worth all that fuss anyhow. It's just so amusing to me, man. I'm gonna talk to this guy every month for sure. <laughs> just to see what he has to say. Alright, so we talked to the homie. Indeed. Is there anything else? I think I pretty much checked Goodness. everywhere. Yeah, let's just move on, honestly. In the future, I will actually show off more of the monastery and whatnot, but... For the time being, uh, nope, I don't think I'm getting Ferdinand, so I'm gonna save the money. <laughs> screw you, Ferdinand. Yeah, for the time being, though, I just wanna get started again, honestly, because a lot of you guys who watched the first playthrough have already seen this, and I don't wanna just, you know, it, it just takes a lot of time, honestly. Time well spent, don't get me wrong, but I think since it's been so long, just getting to a real fight is more important, honestly. For our first real battle, the rivalry of the houses. Formerly a promising young mercenary, you are now the newest professor at the prestigious Officers Academy. Students and faculty alike look on Students and faculty alike look on with curiosity as you engage in a mock battle between the school's three houses. Name drop. Suggested level one. Let's go. 
I swear when I got here the first time I was like level three, at least, honestly. <laughs> it's just so noticeable how little experience you get in this mode, even with only one battle. Even with only one battle ah, complete. It's finally time for the mock battle. I'm eager to put my skills to use. And you, Professor? I'm looking forward to it. Let's do this. Excellent. I have high expectations for your command. That said, I've no doubt it will take everything we've got to pull a victory. Our opponents are mighty. That much is certain. But I'm positive we can win. Hey there. Did we miss our invite to this strategy meeting? No, oh, no worries. We'll just join in now. <laughs> nice try, Claude. But I do not intend to let slip our strategies. Especially when we are up against such strong opponents as you two. Claude is just such a smart ass. Can I recruit him, like, now? Can I somehow hack the game to get him onto my team? Because he just... <laughs> I know it's not possible to get this guy, but he's just too good, man. He always seems to steal the show whenever he's on the screen. Well, now. Kind words from his kingliness. If that's the case, we'd better come up with some clever schemes so as not to disappoint. Right, Princess? Right. No matter the tactics you devise, we will destroy you. The best you can hope for is to learn a thing or two. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a friendly rivalry, but let's not get carried away. A rash attitude could be your undoing, after all. Hmm. Perhaps your time would be better spent preparing instead of worrying about the competition's mindset. Hey now, if you two were getting this fired up before the battle even starts, it'll make it that much easier for my class to sweep up a win. So please, carry on. <laughs> See, this is what I'm saying. First of all, Claude is amazing. But secondly, it seems like Dimitri and Edelgard, there's like a little bit of hostility. I don't know, it's probably just like a friendly sort of thing. But they, they really go at each other more than... Claude does it. And Claude just kind of sits back as an instigator, you know? Like he's enjoying this whole show. A good point, Claude. I apologize. That wasn't my intention. At any rate, let's vow to make this a productive battle, shall we? Don't go too hard on us. I don't intend to lose. I do not intend to lose. Uh, I am the greatest, so. Case, I won't hold back. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. Ah, how time flies. In that case, I'll see you later. Strategy meeting? Aren't you two opponents on the next fight? So why am I talking to you about my plans? I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint. No wonder this game is so hard. I'm giving away all my strategies. Oh, yes, this banging theme, dude. That's so good. I can't believe this is the prep music. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to spend so much time fanboying about it this time, but it is... It's so good. <laughs> I just love the drum beat. It's truly amazing, honestly. I think this is probably the strongest soundtrack in Fire Emblem just overall. I don't know that for a fact because I haven't really, you know, I haven't beaten it or anything, but just every track has been a winner. Every single one. Not a loser in the bunch. I can remember basically every song that I've heard so far. And that says a lot. <laughs> really. None of them are forgettable. Level 7? What? I'm level 1! You're level 7? Seven, seven. Claude is eight. Okay, what are their stats, though? I'm just kind of delaying the inevitable here. Seven attack speed. 32 HP, nine defense. What is this? this thing, oh, that's his personal. Does that matter? No, he has no battalion. Dex plus four. 15 attack, seven attack speed, though. God. These guys are fast. Wait, doesn't Dimitri get doubled? No, he doesn't. But if he didn't get speed, he would. Oh my lord, are you kidding? Ash doesn't, Mercedes doesn't, and I don't. Okay, so maybe it's not as bad as I thought, in hindsight. Uh, Dorothea. Wow, she has 18 attack now, with 7 attack speed again. Gotta be very mindful of that. 18 attack. That's like half my health. That's a two shot on the do. Oh. Oh. Oh, and Claude has 11 attack speed? 11. Just, he has 11, okay. <laughs> uh, Hilda has a hand axe, thank God. Otherwise, she would be horrifying. What's her skill again? 
The days of male allies is deal three extra damage during combat. Oh, we gotta keep her away from Claude then. Oh yeah, we gotta keep her the hell away from Claude. Cause that put him up to 21 times two on my whole team. Are you serious? That one rounds me. Hey, if he's next to Hilda. <laughs> Hubert. Uh, it looks like seven is the average attack speed on this map. And Edelgard, she has nine herself. Which actually does double me. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, lordy lord. Okay, Hanemon, three attack speed. I feel like he's even a little bit faster himself. I think he had like one attack speed on hard mode. I remember doubling this guy. But now he might actually be a problem. Hmm. 21 attack, good god. That's just straight up 20 damage to do, by the way. Ignatz with 9 attack speed. Ferdinand with 9 attack speed. Actually, and that's really bad for me. Because that means I get doubled. By Ferdinand. Oh, crap. And Manuela. She's actually not too bad, because Nosferatu kind of sucks. Only one might. Oh, my God. This is going to be hard, actually. So, how are we going to do this? <laughs> Victory. Route the enemy. Defeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I or Dimitri falls. Not likely, but it could happen. It's time for the battle to begin. Our victory depends on your leadership. Do not let us down. I'll do my best, bro. So I brought. Sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. You don't say. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle. So listen well if you want to win. Are you gonna explain trees to me again? Uh, since this is a practice battle, the units who are defeated will not be permanently lost. Great. Okay, so. I brought a very specific set Stay of units focused. for this because I feel like I actually need to try in this fight. <laughs> no lie. So I brought Felix, obviously, because he has insane damage. And I gave him a bow. I gave him Ash's bow, I think. Oh, no, I guess I gave him Claude's old one. Either way, he has this bow because he can be uh, in a good position to draw Dorothea right here. And I want to get the chip damage because I think that I'm going to need it. We have Dimitri because he's forced. And he's really good anyways. What should I do? Uh, I brought Dudu because he's actually one of my strongest characters with 12 strength. Like, I think he ties me. No, I'm actually a little bit stronger, but he's he's really, really strong. So he can do a ton of damage in a single attack, and that can be very useful. The Training Lance is actually as accurate as the Iron Sword because of his, uh, because of his skill set. Yeah, he gets 10 extra hit, and it's as strong as the Iron Lance as well with 6 might. So that's some pretty good damage for him, and of course his personal ability, which... How do I check that? Yeah, I'm still not entirely used to the interface. Uh, his personal ability gives him four defense if he just waits in place, which puts him up to 12. So even if I get doubled by Ferdinand, I can just use the dude to draw him instead because that's only eight damage, which ain't crap really. And I brought Sylvain because he it. also has Tempest Lance. I can't use his personal ability, which again is uh, two extra damage and two less damage if he's next to a female. But... I don't really need his personal for this. I just need the fact that he has Tempest Lance. Because that's a really, really broken ability. Have I mentioned that? Number it's really good. <laughs> are required, Claude. Ignatz and I will dismantle the opposition. Eight damage, man. Me? But I'm not ready. Come on, Ignatz. Have some confidence. <sighs> are you making light of our new professor? If you drop your guard, you're going to get hurt. See, Claude knows how this goes. Dorothea, will you head toward the front lines? I wish to draw the enemy toward us. You got it, 80. Leave it to me. Edelgard, quick question. Why is the mage frontlining for you? Don't you have a whole ass Ferdinand? If the enemy comes, stop them. Didn't he have good defense too? Like, <laughs> what are you doing? Leave it to us. Although I could do this on my own. Alright, let's see it then. <laughs> Clearly not. Or her highness would not ask me to watch your back. <laughs> got him. Alright, Dorothea. So she can just kill me, I've just realized. Yeah. Six crit. But look at Felix, man. That's over half her life right there. Such a beast. And I feel like bows are going to be very important. I also gave one to Deltrin. Because I feel like the the uh, the free chip damage, right? I feel like that's going to be very useful. So we're not in range of Ignaz, but I think we can sweep these guys right now. So what we want to do is we're going to take Dudu. We're going to smash for 12 and I'm gonna take 14 myself but I can just use a vulnerary on the next turn because nobody's gonna be in range so we smash right here we can't miss I'd actually kind of like to not crit if I do so be it 
Uh, no, we don't. We're gonna tear open the ground. Smash Lorenz real good. Which we need to do so that Sylvain can take him out. And then between myself. Hmm. I don't think Felix kills Ignatz without without using a Wrath Strike, so we'll do that. So yeah, between myself and Felix, we can take out Ignatz. And this puts me in a great spot because that means that Claude. Or not Claude. Why? Why do I keep calling him Claude, man? <laughs> Dimitri can take out Dorothea. We must all do our part. Oh god, that was awful. <laughs> that was really bad. Oh no. Oh no. Dimitri, though, can take out Dorothea perfectly, in fact. I don't even need to use a combat art. 91 is good enough for me, man. We take her out and we get the experience boost. The new professor seems very capable. For my ability, I mean. Yeah, so he's gonna level up again. I'm not sure if I pointed this out, but Byleth, uh, his ability gives bonus experience to anybody who stands next to him in combat. So that's very good. And we're actually gonna use it again right here, in fact. With Felix, roll another 91. But I wanna do this because that's more experience. And that penalty is just so harsh that I can't see doing it any other way. The new professor is quite a commander. Seriously, I think we're getting half experience. No lie. So that's a pretty big boost to us right there. And now I can just go for a Tempest Lance or a Smash, which is more accurate. Smash is more accurate. I did give that Spear Iron Axe we got from Costas to Sylvain. For precisely this reason. Look at all these crests go, man. I forget what Sylvain's does. Oh, unthinkable. Yeah, let me check Be that. Gone. Actually, some nice experience for him. Yeah, those crests are just so wild. Well done, Teach. I may have to take this seriously after all. Don't really want to rely on them or anything, but it's a nice boost for sure. Alright, so we got Claude's attention. Now, what did yours do? Sometimes raises mites when using combat arts. Did he get his crest? I, I might be tweaking. I thought I was going to do 16 either way. Uh, so there's Hubert. We can get his attention as well with myself. And like I said, I did give myself a iron bow. So we can equip that and use a vulnerary. So that should draw Hubert in. We can get some good damage on him. And everybody else really just wants to move in a bit and heal up. Yeah, we got these vulneraries for a reason, man. To do especially needs to heal though, because it's more likely than not he's going to be getting the attention of Ferdinand. Since I didn't get speed right there, that means I'm doubled with uh, the Iron Sword. And I don't have a lighter weapon, like I don't have a training sword or anything, so we're just kind of stuck on that front. Sylvain can go in, Dimitri can come in as well, and we're looking pretty good. Are you really going to fight two houses at once? <laughs> An impressive display of combat. Oh, damn it. I forgot he would do this. Oh, man. This might have been a huge mistake. Yeah, because they're going to they're gonna charge me now. Victory is in sight, Black Eagles. Do not let up. Oh, no. Because Claude is actually horrifying on this mode. 11 speed, man. 11 attack speed at this point just wrecks me. We don't get 3 percent which is great. Hopefully, we don't miss either. And we're not missing, so that's really good for us, I think. Uh, that could be another kill for Felix. Hmm. You know, truth be told, I don't know that Ferdinand will even kill me. He doesn't if I heal. So let's say I heal. <laughs> I know it seems kind of crazy, but... I, I would like the bonus experience on Felix, who I'm pretty confident actually survives Edelgard because he doesn't get doubled. Because he's really fast and relatively strong. So he should have like oh, 7 yes. attack speed, I think, right? 6 attack speed. Either way, he's not getting doubled, which is what matters. So I can have uh, Felix kill Hubert pretty easily. And then... Uh, oh, Manuela moves on this mode? Did she move before? I don't think she did. Did she? I can't remember. It's been so long. But this is going to get pretty hairy, I think, actually. Uh, so where can Manuela hit? I guess that's our first question. So she cannot actually... She can't hit somebody who kills Hubert from melee. So that plan is still a go. The question is, do I want to draw with Dudu or do I want to draw with me? Um, I did give Dudu a training bow in case I need some two-range chip. 
which I might, I might not. It just, it just depends, really. Be mindful. Let's let's be aggressive here. And what's Ferdinand's personal? Because these guys all do have personal skills of their own. Uh, confidence, which does what? Plus 15 hit avoid when at full HP, which of course he is. So that can be very problematic. Uh, I have an 82 though. And I have how much hit? I have 106. Dudu cannot match that. He's actually going to be 11 points less accurate. And if I'm only at 82, that puts him at what? 69. So he does have a... No, no, no. It puts him at 71. Okay. But that's still not great. So I really don't want to do this, but I think we have no choice. We have no choice but to stomach the hit because I'm not going to roll a 70-something. There's no way. But I do need the damage. I for sure need the damage. Because if I don't have that, then I can't sweep these guys. And because I've already aggroed Claude, I basically have to be aggressive now. So let's take out Hubert. Get some bonus experience. The new professor is rather strong. I suppose I'll have to call it a day. You're weak. Ooh, look at that experience, dude. Felix is going to fly through these levels, I think. And we're going to move in to do. We'll heal to do back to full. Okay, where are these guys going to be on next turn? I'm really only worried about Claude, so he's going to be here. One, two, three, four. He can only hit to the bush on the next turn, so we've got some time. This should be a good spot for to do. We'll heal him back to full. I don't know that he needs it, but... Yeah, I don't know that he needs it. Man, I should have had a bow on Dimitri because I'd be buffing my hit rate a little bit more. Yeah, that might have been something. Yeah, and I can just hang out with the rest of my guys. Or with Dimitri, I should say. Alright, so she's going to do a thousand damage. But all we need to do is five to Edelgard and then we can take her out with Dimitri. Which is exactly what we're going to shoot for here. This is going to hurt like hell. And we also can't miss, which we don't, thankfully. Okay, so this isn't looking too bad. Manuela's is actually going to go right, so where does that put her? How much? She only had 12 attack, right? That ain't crap, really. Uh, Felix has... Okay, we we need to keep being aggressive, I think. So I'm going to move here. Iron Bow. Vulnerary. And assuming Felix didn't have zero res. Okay, yeah, I should have checked that, but I didn't think he did. Okay, we're good. We're good. So I can move here with me. Shoot Ferdinand. Yeah, this is fine. It's fine. It looks really bad, but we're fine, I promise. So we beat you with myself plus Tempest Lance. However, let's not forget Edelgard. How much do I do? I do five with the do straight up, so that's enough, isn't it? We set 18 just to double check. 60. I guess I am awful at math. Yeah, of course. Well, I added 10. It's only plus eight. I say only plus eight, but you know what I mean. It's still quite a bit, honestly. But anyways, we can trade bows. I can shoot Edelgard with this bow, which will be enough. Yeah, there we go. So to do, Archer Extraordinaire. And that's where his huge strength is coming into play here. Uh, so now we can use the Tempest Lance. I'll use this one just in case we get that. Uh, in case we get his crest, basically. Because it doubles uses. We can finally settle the question of who's stronger. Yeah, it doubles durability cost, but it also doubles damage. Very well. I accept your challenge. With you as my opponent... I won't hold anything back. I would expect no less. Yeah, come get it, Edelgard. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to break my Iron Lance, basically. And another one for Dimitri. Good lord, this guy is unstoppable. He's unstoppable. Look at his defense. <laughs> it's already nine. He's gonna put to do out of a job. Well, things will only get tougher from here on out. That's true. This is only chapter one, after all. 
And now we Tempest Lance you. 95% of the time we get him out of here. Let's go, Sylvain. Big dog. I am the son of House Iyer. How did I fail? I must need to train harder. That's how we do it, my guy. I almost kind of wanted to bring Ingrid, but Sylvain is just a little bit stronger. Only one point, but it might matter. I don't know. Okay, now this group is a problem. This group is a serious problem. <laughs> so how are we going to do this? We know that Hilda cannot be next to uh, Claude for any reason. Speed luck Stronger, charm. Huh? We'll see. Eh, not horrible. More speed is always good, of course. And I do believe that with a Wrath Strike... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So that's how that goes. Well done. I nearly wound up a patient in my own infirmary. By the way, this is why Felix is busted. <laughs> five free damage. Keep in mind his skill is so good. If he didn't have that, he'd be doing five less damage on every single hit right now. So, you've made it past Manuela, eh? I see now I must focus and then make my move. Let's see what you got, old man. But yeah, that's why when I first saw this guy, I was like, man, he's broken. And this is exactly why. Just imagine how much harder this would be without Felix. Now, speaking of hard, this whole situation ain't great. <laughs> Final answer. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Vulnerary for there. Now with the training bow. Oh, this is the iron bow. Six might on you. Three might on you. Okay, so here's how I see this, right? Hanemon, if he runs this way, we could put Dimitri here. He runs up on Hanemon, does a million damage. Felix then backs him up, shoots Hanemon, kills him. Then between Sylvain and myself, we should be able to kill Claude, regardless of how much damage I do here. However, that leaves Hilda. But if I put Dudu right here, a combination of Hilda plus Claude actually can't kill Dudu. Because he'll have 12 defense. That's 12 from Claude. And then 6 from Hilda. And then he'd be outside Hanemon's range. So, I will put Dudu right here. With the Iron Bow. Just to chip Hilda. Then, I will move Sylvain right here. And take the Training Bow. Equip said Training Bow. Make sure we still have the Iron Lance. I'm at full HP. Claude does not one round me. Then I will move Dimitri right here. Who's the only one who's going to have any HP after this, really? So I need Dimitri to be the first person to initiate combat with Hanemon. Because he's the only one that can take a hit at this point. And I think Claude has so much dex that he has crit on me, which sucks. As he does. So two 8%ers. I'm not sure I need to hit this. Don't crit me, though. Oh, God bless you, Claude. You beautiful bastard. So there, that's how that goes. We got his attention. Hilda does go for Dudu, as I thought. We were only in range of Claude. Somehow Dudu is going to dodge, because I guess he's just a beast. We do a good amount to Hilda, which should help on the following turn, because we don't have a lot of health. Now. Hanemon. Now, because of the forest, Hilda actually can't swing back around. Yeah, she can't swing back around to Hanemon, which is what I thought would happen, because one, two, three, four. And now, we can do like this. And make sure we hit Hanemon. We can't even miss, although we can get 2%, which would suck, because even if uh, even if this isn't permadeath just yet, if Dimitri dies, that's it. Tempest Land puts him down to 13. 90%. 90% to win the battle. Let's go, Sylvain! Yeah, my dude. All right, so we don't get the kill on him, which is unfortunate. But I wanted to do this anyways so that I can get more experience on myself because I feel like I'm I feel like I'm going to be important. Something tells me that Violet is really good, even if that first level up was really bad. No problem, but I'm not much for fighting. Go easy on me. Oh, you are so full of shit. I'm not much for fighting. I only double your whole army. Yeah, dot dot dot. That was a joke, right? Jeez, not so much as a smile. I'm a very serious individual, Claude. I don't have time for your games. Ooh, so close. Maybe I can take out Hilda. I hate losing. I guess I'll just have to settle for cheering the others on. 
bad. So get out of here. That guy is so scary. Why did they put him like that? Why did they make him such a god? I don't understand. Alright, I think this is the last move that can possibly lose me the map. I think so. Because the forests will protect Felix. I think. Yeah. So don't crit me. Oh, we actually got the crest! My <laughs> The leadership of someone with actual battle experience is... Well, I was as good as useless. Yeah, I didn't really want to get a kill for you Felix anyways. So that's fine. <laughs> Man, I wish I could turn those off. Seriously. And because that's how this worked out, I can actually avoid giving Hilda the forest right now. And actually, she wouldn't have the forest anyways, because I could just move to do here. And, well, I was going to move him here anyways, but what I'm saying is that I just realized that because he would have the bow equipped, she would run up into his face. Well, I'll show you. I would have moved to do right here, kept him with the bow, he dodged, and then Dimitri would have been safe right here. To kill Hanemon. Basically. But we don't have to do any of that because I'm lucky. And because I still have the bow, indeed, Hilda does not take the boars and instead chooses to attack for melee. Which is great. Now, how much does she do? Probably not a lot. Hand axes are kind of weak. Yeah, I actually still survive. But I can shoot you with the do. Who's been a beast this map? Did you see that? He took, like, no damage to those guys. He was standing in the range of everybody and was like, whatever, man. Let's see you break this 12 defense. Oh, he can be crit, though, and I don't really like that. Take 27. Yeah, Dimitri would actually live a crit. So we'll go with Dimitri. Tempest Lance. Put her in range for myself. Oh, and he can't even be crit. Yeah, he can't even be crit because of, uh... Because of the new support. So we drop her all the way down to 6 HP. And I will take this kill for myself. Yeah, I can't even miss. So good night. Yes, Hilda, it was a round map. It was. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Some defense would be nice, though. The winner of this mock battle is... The Blue Lion House. Just barely. Good God, that was hard for a first map. Everyone's hard work. Thank you, my friends. You did well. Stage complete. MVP Dimitri, no doubt, yeah. <laughs> he put the whole world on his back, what can I say? I wish it would have been me, though, because that means less motivation for everybody, I think. But, with that said, I think it's probably a good idea to call it right here. So, I gotta say, maddening mode, right? Crazy hard, <laughs> compared to hard mode, anyways. I honestly feel like if I would have just stuck with hard mode, it wouldn't be... I mean, I'm sure it would be a fun playthrough and everything, don't get me wrong. This game seems amazing in so many ways. Without even talking about gameplay, right? From the story to the music. I love the characterization, too. So much banter between these characters. It's just amusing to listen to, you know what I mean? It makes it feel like these characters actually know each other. Actually have these pre-established relationships. Like, we're kind of viewing it from the outside in, you know what I mean? And that just adds so much flavor to the world. So yeah, this game has a lot of that going for it, of course, but I honestly think that, for me personally, hard mode would have posed no kind of challenge. Not compared to this, anyways. Good lord. I can't believe how close we cut the first map, guys. <laughs> That's insane to me. And I just overall feel like this is going to be a much more enjoyable experience on maddening mode. Again, I really don't know too much about this game, so please do not spoil the story or anything like that. I don't mind if you guys want to give, like, tips if I'm completely <laughs> misunderstanding mechanics or something like that. That's totally fine. But just don't, please don't ruin this story for me, because this seems like a very strong game in terms of narrative. So I'm really excited to see how that goes once we get back to chapter, I think we left off on chapter 4. Something like that. But at any rate... Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave a like rating. Helps me out and all that. And I will catch you guys on the next one. See you then. Peace.